well, you've done a great job at this game, so I think I'm gonna go with you on it. Let's see if our Easter egg is in the red basket. Oh, look at that! That's amazing! You did it! You did it! Okay, that was like the most fun ever. I love playing with our little Easter egg and our baskets. <laughs> and now, it is time to listen to an amazing Bible story. And I can't wait. So go ahead, take a seat and get all comfy. And let me see your hands. And open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. <laughs> open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hey everyone, my name is Tracy and I am so excited to be with you today because I have something amazing that I wanna tell you about that I read in my favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? That's right, the Bible. And the Bible is important because it helps us to know how much God loves us. Well, I read about a time when Jesus invited his friends for a big meal. Jesus loved his friends so much and he had something important that he wanted to tell them. Hey, raise your hand if you ever sit at the dinner table with your family and talk while you're eating. You do? That is great. That's an important time to spend time with your family and talk. Well, Jesus really loved his friends and he wanted to spend time with them. So Jesus invited them to sit at the table and have a big meal. Jesus had something so important to tell his friends. Jesus told his friends that he would be going away soon and they were so, so sad. They loved Jesus so much and they didn't want him to go away. Jesus promised his friends that he would be back in one, two, three days. That's right. Can you count with me? One, two, three. That's right. Jesus promised his friends that he'd be back in three days. Don't forget those three days. Not long after they finished eating their meal, some really angry men came and took Jesus away. Oh no. Jesus' friends were so sad. Can you make a sad face with me? Oh, wow. Those are some really, really sad faces. Those angry men, they took Jesus and they hurt him. They hurt him so badly that Jesus died. This was a really, really sad day. They took Jesus and they put him in a tomb. A tomb is like a cave, and they put a really big, ginormous rock in front of it, like a door. But wait, wait. Remember what Jesus promised his friends? Jesus promised his friends that he would come back in one, two, three days. That's right. Can you count with me? One, two, three. That's right. Jesus promised his friends that he would come back in three days. So in three days, when the sun came up, Jesus' friends, they went to the tomb, but Jesus wasn't there. No, Jesus was alive. It was amazing. Everyone was so happy. His friends couldn't wait to run and go and tell everyone that Jesus was alive and that Jesus is their friend forever. Yay! I'm so glad Jesus is alive and that Jesus is my friend forever. Jesus wants to be your friend forever and Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Hey, today is a special day and we can tell everyone all day that Jesus is alive and that Jesus wants to be your friend forever and Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Let's pray and talk to God and thank him for Jesus. Can you give me a big clap? Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he loves us and wants to be our best friend forever. We love you, God. Amen. Wow, that was so amazing. And I'm gonna remember all week long that Jesus loves me and is my friend forever. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye. Wow, that was an amazing Bible story. I love it.
loved listening to it with you. And now it is time to sing and dance to a super duper fun song. So get up on your feet. And right now I want to see like your best dance move. Let me see it. Yes, that's awesome. All right, you are definitely ready. Let's dance. Bye. 